How you doing everybody? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. Why narcissists cheat? Signs a narcissist is cheating and dealing with a cheating narcissist. That is the title of this video. Well, we know who narcissists are. These are selfish, self-centered, egotistic, egocentric individuals. People who lack empathy. They are concerned about their own needs. It's me, 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 me with a the narcissist. They use and misuse others. They will use you and discard you. The narcissist's main mission is to control you, to punish you. They need constant attention, constant validation, constant acknowledgement, constant admiration, reassurance, recognition from you. Now, what you should know is that narcissists might cheat due to poor impulse control, dissatisfaction in their relationship, or low self-esteem. Now, in this video, we are going to look at why narcissists cheat and the signs of a cheating narcissist and even how to deal with a cheating narcissist. Now, narcissists cheat. Number one is because they are looking for attention. We say that one of the common traits of a narcissist is they are unreasonably high sense of self-importance. Narcissists believe and they feel like they deserve a lot of attention and admiration and they might turn to infidelity, to cheating, in order to satisfy this desire. So, because of that constant need for attention, they will cheat on their partner. Because narcissists crave more of attention. They want to be idolized by their partner. So, they cheat to get more of that rush. Now, number two reason why narcissists cheat, they, may, they lack empathy towards their partner. A narcissist doesn't find it difficult to cheat on their partner. Because they lack empathy. They don't feel guilty even if they hurt someone. If they cheat on their partner, they may not acknowledge how their actions are hurting their victim. So, they are not guilty about it. That's why they cheat. Again, narcissists, they cheat because they have this, they have a challenge in controlling their impulses. Again, narcissists will cheat because they feel dissatisfied with their current relationship. Remember, narcissists get bored easily. Once that rush, that initial euphoria of a relationship begins, a begins to fade away, especially once that love bombing stage is over, the narcissist becomes bored with their partner and they go hunting for a new supply. Now, that's why the narcissists find themselves cheating on their partner. Again, Narcissists, they cheat because they believe rules don't apply to them. They expect their partner not to cheat on them, but they will cheat on their partner. They believe they are superior to others, that they deserve special treatment and privileges. And they feel that even cheating is not, is not something that can stop them, can cage them up. They, be, they are above that rule. They believe they are special and they need to feel special by cheating on their partner. They feel remaining in that relationship faithfully. It makes them less unique because it makes them common. So they cheat to make themselves feel superior than their victim, to feel more important. Now, narcissists cheat because they need to feel that they are in control. It's a power game. They are cheating because they are trying to control their partners. That need for control is what mainly drives the narcissist to cheat on their, 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 their partner. They cheat to manipulate their partners. Now, they also cheat because they believe they can get away with cheating. They, they feel good when they cheat and they are not caught. Again, narcissists cheat because they are suffering from low self-esteem. So, by cheating, they feel superior. They feel confident. They feel stronger. Again, narcissists are scared of intimacy. They are scared of forming love bonds. So, they cheat because they are afraid of intimacy. They cheat to keep that relationship surface level 
They are scared of falling in love because they can't fall in love. They lack empathy. They hate intimate relationships. By being intimate, they feel they are giving their power away. They fear appearing vulnerable. They wish to be more intimate with their partner, but they can't because they fear being vulnerable. Now, what are the signs that a narcissist is cheating? Number one, they will shower their victim with gifts and affection. They will love bomb their victim. This is a way the narcissist does to maintain full control. Again, they cheat by che- well, another sign that the narcissist is cheating on their partner. They become very defensive when you show them that you're suspecting they're cheating. Then they'll also accuse their partner of having an affair of cheating on them. They project their cheating behavior onto their partner in an attempt to make their partner feel guilty. If you ask the narcissist if they are cheating on you, they'll try to they'll try to reverse that situation and accuse you of being the one cheating. They'll try to make you feel guilty and even claim that you don't love or trust them. Again, the narcissist will make excuses for their actions if they are cheating. They never take responsibility. They never own up to their mistakes. They never accept blame. Instead, the narcissist they will have so many excuses to blame you, to blame someone else, or to blame something else for their cheating behavior. They'll justify why they are cheating on you. Again, a sign a narcissist is cheating on you, they will disappear without any explanation. You'll realize there are some periods, there are some moments in life they'll disappear. You text them, they are not replying your text messages. They ignore your text messages. You ask them where they are, they don't reply. They are vague in the explanation. Sometimes you call them, they are not picking your calls for a long period of time. Again, they start lying, gaslighting you, manipulating you. When you start suspecting them of cheating. Again, a sign that a narcissist is cheating on their partner, they become less committed to the relationship. They'll cancel plans with their partner. They'll change those plans with their partner very often. They'll behave suspiciously online, on social media. When they are on WhatsApp, for instance, and they see you, you are online, they disappear. You know, they, they, they like hiding. They are, it's hide and seek game. They are behaving suspiciously. A narcissist who's cheating, you'll realize they're spending a lot of money on mysterious things. Things that you don't know. They are extravagant all of a sudden. Now, how do you deal with a narcissist who is cheating on you? How do you deal with a cheating narcissist? First of all, document all evidence. Gather facts about their behavior. So that when you confront them, you, you must have evidence to, to explain why they are cheating on you. If you catch the narcissist online, make sure... You have evidence that they are cheating on you. Also observe their body language. You realize they will be avoiding eye contact. And other signs. Again, how to deal with a cheating narcissist? You have to ask yourself, is this relationship worth continuing with? Is it a relationship that you should end? If you feel you can't never forgive, you can never forgive this narcissist for cheating on you, then end that relationship. Again, you take time to calm down before talking to the narcissist once you've found out that they're cheating on you. Before you confront them about cheating, calm down first of all. If you go talk to them when you're angry, then you will worsen the situation. Again, also, Plan on how and where and when you're going to confront the narcissist about their cheating behavior. Then, also try to focus on communicating your feelings clearly. Be clear in your communication about their cheating behavior. How you're thinking, how you're feeling. Be clear on your communication. Avoid focusing too much on their behavior. Instead, put more emphasis on what you want and stick to you, to you. Use I statements. 
again set boundaries with clear consequences but if you if you want to be in, to continue that relationship with them make sure you have boundaries in place establish clear boundaries about what behaviors you are never going to accept again and have consequences that you are willing to act upon if they break those boundaries again if they cheat on you again what you're going to do you should be clear in that again also if possible see a counselor see a therapist for more support rely on your support system to be strong again thank you for watching this video i hope you've learned a thing or two please subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe 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 thank you god bless you